love sitting on a roller coaster. The pressure and the jerks that I exerted at the turns, ups and downs when the roller coaster gains momentum, it gives me a head rush. And this pressure that's exerted on our body is called G-force. It's also what a Formula 1 driver experiences throughout the race. By the way, G simply means the force of the Earth's gravity acting on your body. In other words, your body weight. 2G is twice that force, 3G is thrice, and so on. Now, unlike the G-force that we experience on a roller coaster, a Formula 1 driver experiences up to 6 Gs, which is basically 6 times the original body weight. A Formula 1 driver's body is constantly in battle with three kinds of G-force. The first one is while accelerating. The second one is while braking. And the third one is while cornering and taking turns. And they face this continuously for over two and a half hours. Wow! Because high G-forces are really tough to handle, Formula 1 drivers are some of the fittest athletes in the world. The training that they go through is somewhat similar to that of an astronaut. Just in case you thought Formula 1 racing was child's play, imagine being inside a super-powered roller coaster and that too for two and a half hours. I hope you figured out what G-Force is so you can score maximum points on the F1 aptitude test and then join me in our pit crew. See you soon!